I'm no fire, because we have to make mistakes. <laughs> don't think about it, don't think about it. I need to be with my family, and I just need to be at home. We have nothing to drink. We don't know where we are. I don't want to sound too cocky too early. No, I don't think we should. I don't think we should at all. No. But right now, this we're, is... We're winning. You, you just order me about all the time. Please leave me just... She goes on about those potatoes anymore. I'm gonna stab them. This is the male version. <laughs> <laughs> I feel dreadful. Honestly, I feel absolutely dreadful. I never thought I would be so desperate for food and water. The water was not an issue. Yeah. And actually, dehydration was your own fault rather than lack of water. The expedition party are dehydrated, hopelessly lost, and wandering directionless. Walking is painful now. All night, no dry clothes and no fire, because we have to make mistakes. Don't think so. my family and I just need to be at home. <laughs> All the decisions we've made thus far have been made collaboratively. We've not needed to conform to a system where there's a leader. Are you serious? Call the medics! She's gone! We're winning. I don't want to drink the water. It's a piece of Decent water. The water was not an issue. It's half past two now. No sign of a fire. If I hadn't turned up today, and I turned up in six months, I bet these guys would be in pretty good shape. <laughs> yeah, so women take on Bear Grylls over sexist male-only Desert Island show. This was written after season one, when it was men-only, and a lot of feminists came out and tried saying it's sexist because they didn't include women, and that they thought women would be able to do just as good, if not better, than the men. So in season two, they made it men versus women. And let's just say it didn't exactly go to plan for the women. Just look at this. Look at the currents and how rough the water is here. This is where the men got dropped off. You know, it is going to be out of your depth. There are rocks in there. So nice to meet you. I'm harmless. Nice to meet you. You see how the women are already getting special treatment. Look at the water they got dropped off in. Now let's compare that to the men's. That was the damnedest thing I ever did. Fuck's sake, this is survival, not Good Morning Britain. This is amazing. I found the sea. Come on! Beach! Pina Coladas. <laughs> Come on, Jack.
Well, that was suitably chaotic. You know, it's four o'clock. It's going to get dark here in a couple of hours. And already, you know, there have been 15 minutes chat, chat, chat on the beach. They need to work hard, get moving. But, you know, it's nothing I can do. These are things they're going to find out. Guys, are we going right or straight? Guys, should we get together and have a chat? Because well, no, I didn't know places like this existed. What, you didn't know a jungle existed? Light running out fast, the women are no closer to finding a beach to set up camp. The women have decided to abandon their search for a beach and set up camp in the jungle. Look, we've fucking work. I have a hairdresser. And, like, I can't afford this. I'm trying to keep these tears in all along. Stop it, Jade. Just try and stop. Just try and stop, because it makes you feel worse. Yeah, so this is basically episode one and it kind of shows the differences between men and women. The men immediately decided, right, they need to work as a team, get to the beach, get out of the jungle. That's what they did. They did it on episode one. The women kind of didn't understand the seriousness of what they was in. They wasted time talking. Then when it was time to find the beach, they didn't work as a team. They didn't know where they was going. Basically a complete mess. And then they decided to split up, which is a terrible idea in any survival situation, but that's what they decided to do. Half of the women stayed in the jungle while the other half went to find a beach, which I think they eventually did. But the problem that they then had was getting back into the jungle to tell the other team, oh, we found a beach. You see how it makes no sense? And they couldn't even do that. They went back to find them multiple times and couldn't find their way back. So, but yeah, if you like this episode, like and subscribe, I've got episode 2 coming soon, so peace.